All right, well, they're calling for the the hurricane that's down in Florida is gonna mess up our weather system for a while. And they're looking at like two inches of rain per day for three days. So all this beach is gonna go away. Everything's gonna be flooded again and the water level is gonna come back up. Problem is not the water level because my boat floats so water level doesn't matter to me. If anything, it lets me get to places that I couldn't get to before. But 45 mile an hour wind over the course of three days is a huge problem, especially when you're talking rain. Now, my worst storms that I see and I have ever been in involve a lot of rain, getting the ground saturated with water, and then reasonably high winds, which basically brings trees down like no tomorrow. So I could not stay here even if I wanted to. I need to be at a place where there's no trees that could fall on me. And then I need to be at a place where I'm not in the wind because 45 mile an hour wind would also push me up onto the beat. There would do, it would be bad. Um, and then in reality, I'd like to be somewhere where there's no, like this, where you see how it's calm in here, but out there, here, let me zoom in. Out there, it's white capping. Waves are kind of tipping over. I don't want to be anywhere near that stuff, right? So I have a plan. The wind's going to die down in a couple of hours, and it's not going to completely go away, but it's going to die down to around 10 miles an hour. Right now, it's 15 miles an hour out there. And then I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go up river a ways. And then we're going to that little island that I was talking about that's completely, I guess the best thing is it's shelter. It's a very good sheltered island where there's no trees on it, no big trees, nothing could fall on me. Anything that fell off of that island wouldn't hurt my boat, so... Docks, union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough, so tough. Gina works the diner all day, working for her man. She brings home her pay for love, mm, for love. She says, We gotta hold on to what we got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We got each other, and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. Whoa, oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my We'll make it, I swear. Whoa, living on a prayer. Tommy's got his six string and hawk. Now he's holding in when he used to make it talk. So tough, ooh, it's tough. Gina dreams of running away. When she cries in the night, Tommy whispers. Alright, so we got everything tied off. Uh, the island is, I mean, I guess maybe 200, 250 feet long. And probably 50, 60 feet wide. And it comes to a real big high hill in the middle. So I won't, this, no matter, there, it won't flood to where there's no access to the trees. But what I want to point out. This is a significant thing. See how this tree fell? I've come here, you know, a couple of weeks now just driving around with the dinghy. And there, the one thing about this island that's very different is that there's no real big tree. So even if any of these trees did fall in the storms that are happening in, in the next couple of days, we're looking at 45 mile an hour wind. We're looking at two inches of rain per day for four days. A total of eight inches of rain is what's going to happen. And... So a couple things, I'm gonna always have an island. So even if the water comes up another three feet, there'll still be an island for me to park on. The other thing is none of these trees, even if they do fall, will hit the houseboat. 
and let's say I move all the way in there and that tree falls on it, my houseboat could support that tree. My houseboat could probably even support that big tree right there. It would crack it, but it wouldn't come through and, and kill me on the bed, which is what I worry about. You know what I mean? Sleeping and then bam, good morning, right? Um, tricky to get in here. I had to go around two sandbars and we were dealing with three foot waves out on the river, but they were from behind us. So it wasn't horrible. And then if you look real close, even though there's three foot waves right out on the river, there's not even a ripple in here. And this is facing north. So the winds are going to come from the northwest, which is right over here. And again, any of these trees falling, they're far enough away from the boat where they wouldn't hit the boat. So I have this 180 degree circle of forest around me that's going to protect me and shelter me for this storm that's coming, this three day storm. And honestly, it's the, it's whatever hurricane is down in Florida. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't watch the news or I really don't watch too much weather. I kind of just get it off of Navionics. So I don't know the name of the storm, but there is a hurricane in Florida and that's what's kicking up a bunch of stuff here. Now, cool part is, look at my island, look at these flowers. Like, we just went from complete beach. There will be no sand in my boat for the next week. River, come here. I want to walk around the island and look for snakes and stuff before I let him go crazy. Rubber boots and a paddle and walk around the island and get rid of all the snakes. Come here, Riff. Come here. Stay over here, buddy. But, no, there's only a little bit of sand right here, but it's not free. It's all rooted up with grass in it. So the dog won't be bringing sand into the boat. Which means tonight, I'm going to open up, I'm going to pull everything off of the ground and I'm going to vacuum and sweep and get rid of all the sand in the boat and just be done with sand for a couple of days. <laughs> I like the beach, don't get me wrong, but man, does the sand everywhere get... I don't know if it's... It's not really necessarily annoying, but... Yeah, it's annoying, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. All right, I'm going to go check out this island. This will be Cricket's first time on this island. River's been here probably four or five times. Four or five times, I think. River! And this is just, she loves eating grass. She loves going into the little bushes and stuff like that. So this is going to be a perfect little spot for her. And it's such a small island that if there was like a coyote or something out here that could just grab her, I would be able to see it. I bet when I walk around, there's not going to be even deer prints on this island, to tell you the truth. Because it's so small. But we'll see. That's all that you've got. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, living on a prayer.
The dinghy broke loose in the night, and there it is. So, first thing is, this could have been way worse. At least I can still see it. So we're going to drive over there and get it. Looks like it's deep enough to go all the way over there, so I'm going to try to pull up on the shore right mm -hmm. next to it. Yeah, the motor's all the way down and it didn't catch, so I should be able to pull right up there. Got it tied up. It's filled with water, so it's like basically an anchor. I'm going to I'm gonna try to pump it out, but we're going to get out of here first. Back to our seat. We're just backing up here. I'm just gonna back up into the wind and then turn into the beach and pretty much pull back into the same spot. You could see where the wind's catching around the island and right by the island where we're parked, there's a little break in the wind. It's a perfect little spot, so we're gonna go back to it. So we're gonna tie up our dinghy better. Basically the dinghy got so much water in it that it pulled the line off. So we got it draining just because it's higher than the water and we got it being pumped out too. There's a lot of water in that boat, so. I'm trying to get the water out of the air pump. And I'm gonna let Cricket come out since it's only misting, it's not really raining right now. Sunset cruise with my little dog.